What's going on everyone, this is Gaffney for the United Devils. Welcome to the match reaction and the player ratings video for the game against Brighton. This is the second game in a row we've played at the Amex against Brighton, obviously after the 3-2 win in the Premier League uh, at the weekend. But, you know, this is in the EFL Cup. We've ultimately won 3-0 and we're through to the next round. Um, as a whole, I'd say the result 3-0 was pretty flattering considering... Uh, the first, shall we say, 65 minutes of the game. We got a goal just before half-time. Scott McTominay scored a header. Um, and then it was pretty boring uh, after that until we brought a few subs on. We brought on Pogba, Rashford. Um, but Juan Mata scored. Uh, he was assisted by Van der Beek, which was a good goal, a flick goal. And then Pogba came on and scored a good free kick. So I'm going to get straight into my player ratings for this game. Uh, we started Dean Henderson in goal, which was expected over De Gea. Uh, he made a really good save in that game. Solid goalkeeper. I was happy with his distribution. One of the better players on the pitch. He's definitely going to give De Gea a run for his money, especially if De Gea slips up. Henderson's going to be breathing right down the back of his neck. I'm actually going to give Henderson an 8, which is a pretty high rating for a goalkeeper because that save was good. His distribution was good. Some of the other stuff he did was good, so we had a good game. De Leu, which was a bit of a shock that we started maybe because we are... You know, we were hearing that we we're trying to sell him to AC Milan, but they only want him on loan. But that's a different topic altogether. I'll give him a 4.5. Maybe that's a bit harsh, but he didn't do anything. Uh, he's, he's supposed to be a good threat attacking him even forward as a right back, but his crossing was quite poor. But it wasn't it wasn't the worst game, but it was pretty poor considering he had a chance to step up today and he didn't take it. Maybe you can't really blame him because of the current situation, but nonetheless, I've gave him a low rating. Eric Bailly uh, came in with Victor Lindelof, a centre-back. I'll give Bailly 8.5. I think that's as solid a performance as you get as a centre-half. I think he's laying down the law and he's proving his point that he needs to be starting against Spurs. He should have started last weekend against Brighton. He killed it off. He was solid at the back today. Then you have Lindelof, he was, you know, average, I suppose. Uh, just, he didn't have a lot to do. Boy, he was definitely the better centre-half that played today. So I'll give Lindelof just the standard six. We didn't concede any goals. There was no major defensive errors. Brandon Williams, I would give a six as well. Standard game. Uh, you know, he got back and forward quite well. Uh, some A few poor mistakes and that in there, but... Overall, I like the way he got forward and his work rate. I thought he did okay, Brandon Williams. And then got Fred and McTominay in midfield. Uh, McTominay was the goal scorer. But again, I don't know why he's, why he's being played as a central defensive midfielder. That's not what he is. So I have gave him a six. You know, other than his goal, he was actually pretty poor, I thought, today. Uh, Fred, I'd give a 6.5. His passing was okay. I liked some of the stuff he was doing. He was getting forward. He was running up and down a lot. So I'll give him a 6.5. Van der Beek, I'd give, uh, I'll give him a 7. His assist was good for Matter's goal. I feel like he's playing too high up the pitch, especially in the first half. It's like he was in the last game. He's almost playing as a second striker when you could argue that he might not even be an attacking midfielder. He's probably a box-to-box, -box, but he plays well in attacking midfield and he had a good game, but I don't know why he's moving so forward. He needs to come further deep. Maybe that's because Igalo wasn't really offering a lot. Uh, at the front, you know, he wasn't working much. Uh, it wasn't his movement wasn't the best, but we'll get on to that. So I'll give Van der Beek a seven. I'll give one matter at eight because, you know, he scored a good goal. His passing was good. He, he had good vision. There was a few runs uh, that were made that he should have picked out. I think, but you know, he still did well. A lot of people uh, saying Matt is the man of the match. Uh, personally, mine is actually Eric Bailly, but you know, Matt still had a good game. Next is Dan James, so I'll give a four. He offered basically nothing. He would have thought, you know, again, this is a game where Dan James can step up. There's been rumours he might be going to Leeds on loan or, or stuff or something like that. But, you know, it wasn't his best game at all. Uh, I'll give him a four. I'll give Agarlo a four as well. His movement was poor. I feel bad because I really want Agarlo to do well. And obviously he loves United. But he hasn't been as good as he was when he first came. He's a bit, you know... He hasn't played with the best players on the pitch, you could argue. But, you know, his his, his movement hasn't been good. He's, he seems slow. You know, he never used to be a slow player. He seems very immobile. So I'll give him a four. And then a few points I got down was just, yeah, that Igalo, there was a big drop-off today. Um, 
and it won't be long before we need a new striker. There's been rumours about Cavani and Jovic and stuff like that. I really can't see it happening in this transfer window. It might go off into January or next summer, who knows, but I think Igalo's loan actually ends in January. Um, so, you know, there's a big drop-off there. He's probably not good enough to be a second striker. I think I think people forget that Green was actually a striker because we've been using him on the right. I think maybe should have brought on Greenwood for a Igalo or something, but he wasn't having his best game today uh, at all. I mean, Fred's work rate was really good as well. I noticed he's, you know, getting up and down the pitch a lot, but that's always what Fred's like. I feel like he's definitely got the heart. He really wants to play for this first team, and I don't think we should let Fred go. I'd rather have Fred over Scott McTominay just because he came through the youth setup. It seems like Fred just plays as well when he really wants to get into that team. Um, Van der Beek, as I said, he's playing too high up. Maybe he's doing it himself because he knows, you know, Igalo's movement isn't the best and he's not offering a lot or maybe he's been told to do it by Oli but I don't know why he's playing so far up the line as a second striker either way it's not really working out he looks better when he comes back but nonetheless as I said Van der Beek was quite good good assist the flick and his passing and stuff he was good but I don't know why he keeps playing so high up maybe he doesn't need to play in a 10 maybe Lingard should start in a 10 and he should be in the pivot in midfield um, and then, yeah, Boy, uh, another point I've got down, Boy was solid today. He needs to start against Spurs. Um, Boy goes better with Maguire, but obviously we all know the big issue with Boy is his injury record. Can he stay fit? But when he does, he's a solid centre-half. He does a few rash things and makes uh, some mistakes and bad decisions. But I think he complements Maguire a lot better. I think if Boy did get fully fit and stayed fit, which is unlikely, but if we could... I think him and Maguire work as a centre-back pairing. So I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, don't forget to comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, You know, say what you think. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at GaffneyH02 and I'll see you in the next one.